Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, we're going to find the curl of this vector field. So first, recall the formula. So whenever you have a vector field that's written in the form f of, say, x, y, z equals m i hat plus n j hat plus p k hat, we define the curl of this vector field f of x, y, z to be the determinant of the following matrix. So in the first row, we have i, j, k. In the second row, we have del, del x, then del, del y, and then del, del z. Very easy to memorize, right? It's i, j, k, x, y, z, and then just in order, m, n, p. So in this case, we have i, j, k, and we still have the del del x, del del y, del del z, and then m, n, and p are all exactly the same in this problem, right? They're all the same, so they're all x, y, z. So we just have x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. So all we have to do now is compute the determinant and plug in the numbers after we take the derivatives. So this is equal to, okay, so when you're computing a determinant, um, it's plus, minus, plus, okay? So, so it's plus, and we cross out the first row and first column. And so it's i hat, parentheses. So crossing out the first row and first column, it's del del y times x, y, z. So it's del del y of x, y, z minus del del z of x, y, z. Okay, that's the first piece. So we get this by crossing out the first row and first column. I'll write it over here so you see it. So if we have i, j, k, del, del, x, del, del, y, del, del, z, and then we have x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z, what we did was we crossed out we crossed out the first row and first column. Boom, there it is. So it's this times this minus this times this, right? And that's how we got what we have over here. Then it's minus. It's plus, minus, plus. So minus j hat. And now we cross out the middle row and middle column. So I'll show you how to do that over here. So i, j, k. And then we have del, del, x, del, del, y, del, del, z. x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. And so we're crossing out now the middle column and the first row, right? So co cross out the corresponding row and column. So it's del del x of x, y, z. So del del x of x, y, z minus del del z of x, y, z. So del del z of x, y, z. And the last one is plus. It's plus minus plus k hat. And now I'll go ahead and, and cross it out here in this, in this matrix. Boom, boom. Cross out the corresponding row and column. And so you have del del x of x, y, z. Del del x of x, y, z. So it's this times this minus this times this. Uh, del del y of x, y, z. Okay, let's see what we have here. So this is equal to, I'm going to come over here. So curl, some more room, curl <laughs> of f of x, y, z equals, okay, so we have i hat, let's see, parentheses, so del del y of x, y, z, so we're taking the partial with respect to y, so the partial with respect to y is 1, we're left with x, z, because the derivative of y is 1, x, z is a constant, so is, this is x, z, then here, uh, everything is constant except the z, so we just get x, y, All right, because the derivative of z is 1, the x, y hangs out, minus j hat, here we're taking the partial with respect to x. So the derivative of x is 1, so we're just left with yz. Here it's the partial with respect to z. The derivative of z is 1, so we're left with xy plus k hat. Here we're taking the partial with respect to x, so the x goes away. We're left with yz, right, because the derivative of x is 1, the yz is a constant. Here we're taking the partial with respect to y, and so the y goes away. We're left with xz. All right, 
And I forgot the point we had to find the curl at. Uh, let's scroll up. 2, 1, 3. Okay, so we want the curl at 2, 1, 3. So the curl of this vector field at 2, 1, 3 is equal to, so let's see, so x is 2, let me just clearly write it down, y is 1, and z is 3, just so we don't mess up. So it's i hat, and let's see, x is 2, and then z is 3. I'm skipping some steps here, so 2, 3, so 6, 6, and then x is 2, y is 1, so 2, okay, because it's, cause it's 2, 1, okay. Uh, minus j hat, let's see, so uh, y is 1, and z is 3, so we get 1 times 3, so we just get 3, minus, and then x we said was 2, and then y was uh, 1, so 3 minus 2, so 3 minus 2, plus k hat, we said y was 1, and z was 3, x is 2, and z is 3, so we get 3, minus 6. Okay, looks looks okay. So this is equal to, so 6 minus 2 is 4, so we get 4 i hat, minus, uh, 3 minus 2 is 1, so we just get j hat, 3 minus 6 is minus 3, so we get minus 3 k hat. And that's it, that's the curl of the vector field. I hope this video has been helpful.